All right, so welcome back, friends. Okay, I know it's been a lot of uh, flip throughs and unpackings and all that good shit that I like to do. Um, I want to do a quick uh, interview. I kind of changed my interview process when I interview a new date just slightly. It's pretty much the same. But I also, um, I've had people ask before about shuffling your cards. i tell you, I prefer riffle shuffles, which is, you know, when you bend the deck and let it fall. But when you get a new deck like this, they don't always bend well. So, um, I'll show you real quick what I do. I separate it in two. You put these fingers, one, two, three, four, underneath here, and then your thumb here. But you want to make sure your tips, your tips is on the side here, okay? Once you're oh three of cups and yeah they need to make a decision okay and then once you do that right you just kind of slightly let one or two go you let one or two go on the other side let one or two go because you got to have a little pressure just a little bit and then that way you don't mess up the new deck um with these uh vice versa decks instead of me just doing it like that i actually flip one side back so some of them are front and some of them are back and i'll show you again like i said fingertips on this side because you need that um also this finger uh pointer finger you might want to put on top too that helps a lot too okay you get just a little bit of tension not a lot and let them fall okay all right so now that i did that i promise you it just takes practice if you can't do it it just takes practice all right also you could just easily do a but i don't just go front 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 because sometimes it doesn't mix them up enough so you take it you go front right flip them back front back front back i always end in the front okay front back front back front back well i ended on the back that time but front back front back front front back front back front back front okay all right so let's get into the interview she gives the other side of the ten of swords that's interesting isn't it it's like actually witnessing somebody get beat up i hope y'all weren't um <laughs> fucked up by that quick shuffle tutorial she's making me oh excuse me he i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry sir he i don't want to piss him off all right so let's get into the interview how would you like to introduce yourself? Okay. I always ask the deck that first. I pull three cards. Flip it. Flip it. Well, I can tell you off top. This deck considers itself divine. I can tell by the sevens and the five. It has the higher offense. What it does say is, is that... It's growing. It's it is this deck sees itself as something that is in the process of growing. So when you get the deck, the deck is not fully formed. It takes on its final form after being with you. Pardon me, I knocked over some decks. Okay. Um. I don't want my cards all messed up. Y'all know how I am about them being turned the wrong way and shit. That's a no no. Sorry. I don't I don't like my decks where. It, you see them upside down or right side. I, I like it always right side up. Okay. I also see that blood, sweat, and tears grew this deck. Um, this deck also gives you the perspective of someone watching the pirate take its booty. Um, so, this deck is a voyeur. I think it's saying it sees all the sneaky shit that goes on. Okay? Nothing gets past this deck. This deck sees all the sneaky shit. I would use this deck if you were trying to catch someone sneaking. Um, last thing is it has the key to all the secret knowledge of the hierarchy. Okay? And the matriarch and the apple of knowledge with the three dots and the key and the baby. Okay? It's, um... <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> The patriarchy's on the front of the card. Let, let me just keep it real with you. Patriarchy's on the front, okay? But what's hidden and you don't see is actually matriarchy runs this game. The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. We have um, the seals here or whatever. The uh, key here. Um, the apple as far as knowledge goes. And we have the 
what is this, the Willerheim Venus, or whatever, whatever kind of Venus this is. I, I'm just saying, um, this deck is behind the scenes. It is aware of hidden occult and all the sneaky shit that people do. It also has um, a special perspective on life, okay? Um, the hangman means you see things in a different perspective, but this hangman is even better, okay? Um, uh, Ophion is here. Ophion's been really uh, following me recently, okay? And, um, listen, this deck sees shit. You, you just had no idea of what was going on, okay? Basically, this deck is trying to tell me that it sees the ins and outs of things, okay? So, it's kind of showing off the fact that it can see shit other people can't see. The next question I'd like to ask the deck is, um, what kind of work do you like to do because some decks actually like to do love work some decks like to do um esoteric work some decks like to do healing work some decks just like the gossip i definitely have a few chatty kathy decks i love those decks those are some of my favorite decks but let's see what kind of work does this deck like to do okay all right three cards please all right Ooh, I'm going to have to pull the book out on this one. It's the other side of the wheel. Okay. This deck likes to do teaching work. Okay, so if you look on the um, right side of it, it's usually three, you usually see the three people or whatever, right? On this side, we see the people doing the work or whatever that's supposed to do the work, learning the lessons. This side is the teacher, okay? So this deck likes to do teaching work, okay? Also magic. There's a flower coming out of a water vase, a spell, a, like a drop of water that's actually come, come to life or whatever. Uh, it likes to do illumination work, light work. <laughs> Prosperity reads, family reads, pet reads, pet reads, readings about pets as well. Let me look at this side of the wheel. I got to look it up in the book. Sorry, guys. It is a new deck. It happens. What number is the wheel? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. The wheel of fortune. Okay. This side of the wheel of fortune yeah, great mysteries. Okay. Okay, so, th oh, this is a timing deck, okay? I've never had a timing deck. Y'all know time is not my um forte. And as a matter of fact, this wheel is actually a pinnacle as well. Um, money questions. Money questions. Um, it, it likes to do shit about money. Um, things about concrete lessons. You know, put in the esoteric into action. Um... Yeah, timing. Let's see. There's Typhon and Anup or Anpu or Nubis. Let's see. I'm sure. Okay, hold. I'm trying to look it up here. Yeah. Okay. Destiny work. Okay. Guy work. It's just basically destiny work, guy work, or whatever. Um, connecting people to higher powers. Okay. So uh, I probably will be using this deck. You know, like how sometimes I like to uh, interview uh, goddesses. I'll probably use this deck for that, especially since the Sphinx. S I said Sphinx. Sphinx is a woman here. Okay, and she has I've oh, that is Ophion on her head. I'm going to do a video on Ophion, too. I just haven't really taken the time to do enough to do it, but I'll tell you. All right, let's get into the next question. Okay, so I always ask my decks, how do they see me as a person and then as a reader? So I'm going to do three cards quickly. Okay, they threw one out. Oh, threw two out. Oh, okay, so me and the deck have a lot in common. Uh, we both make things grow. This was the first card. Uh, okay, so this deck sees me as a person who is moving away from my troubled waters, moving towards my destiny. Okay, there are stars in the background um, as a person. <clears throat> also, the bottom of the deck has me as <clears throat> the four of pentacles. All right, I'm greedy in the sense that I'm possessing a lot of knowledge and not necessarily uh, um, sharing because there's a maze at his head. 
at his crown. Okay, so the deck sees me as someone that holds a lot of um, info and doesn't share it. Um, because, okay, this is a sentence. The deck sees me as a person that holds a lot of info and doesn't share it because I have been going through rough waters. I'm slowly moving towards the calm waters. I am planting the seeds and watching them grow. And once I feel like the fruit is ready, I'm going to be ready to give out um, a, a pinnacle. This side is receiving a pinnacle. This side is giving out information okay so yeah that's how they see me as a person all right let's see how does the deck see me as a reader this could be a little more interesting um i've never had a deck say they didn't like me as a reader i have had a deck seem like they weren't too fond of me as a person i've, I've had a deck feel like um i'm far too secretive not enough work okay i can accept that like I tell y'all all the time, I'm a triple Taurus. Maybe. Alright, so how do you see me as a reader? Pretty much the same as most decks. Bottom of the deck, still me giving out the information, okay? As a reader, I'm going to need to look at the magician in reverse. But as a reader, you know, it kind of sees me as a, you know, friendly family type reader. Um, the type of reader that's trying to take people out of uh, their trials and moving towards the, um, the transformations, the new life, the sun, the happiness, and better messages. But I'm not sure about... Um, the magician in, um, in reverse. So give me one second just to look this up. Okay. Magician that side. Okay. Silent. Yeah, here we go again. Okay. So this deck is really pushing the fact that they feel like I'm being silent about the things that I know. Alright. And I kind of am. There, I, there are a lot of things I just don't think everyone needs to know. I don't think everyone can handle all of that shit. It's, it's hard for... Uh, Yes, there it is. Lovers and Three of Swords. It's hard for people to handle the everyday shit. If I told you the shit I knew, it might break your mind. I feel like it might break your mind. Not your heart. Your heart being broken living here. If you knew the shit I knew, you, you might not make it. <laughs> you don't want to fuck up your brain, you know. And I also believe things are given to people when it's meant for them to receive it. All right. How can we work the best together as a team deck? How can we work as the best together as a team? All right. Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups. How often? All right. Bottom of the well, I'm going to do both bottoms of the deck on this one. Okay, so we have uh Death this is death. Yes, this is death in its um, forward stance and secrecy still on the uh, coming back up, but coming in the bottom. Okay, um, the best way that we can work is by openly transforming people. Um, he feels like I should be uh, cold with the truth. Damn, cold with it. Cold with the truth. Okay, um, but affectionate. Um, lively, um, fluid. And he thinks we'll work together to expose the keys. So I guess that's what we're going to do. I guess he and I are going to expose some keys to you all. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. Got to be honest with you. All right, any special messages for me, Deck? Ooh. That temperance, oh, that temperance card. Temperance is always high in me, but in this deck, this is just fucking beautiful. All right. Any special messages for me, deck? Three cards, please. One, two. All right. Special special message for me today. I am viewing the universe from beyond the veil right now. I'm not seeing it the way that others see it. I am seeing it from the other side of the veil. And I am in love. I am. 
I'm in love. <clears throat> Friendship, passion, hot, dry passion, quenching. Damn, that's a lot of knowledge there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's saying. I feel like it's saying just keep offering. Keep. I think the special message is I'm from the. I'm, I'm on the other side of the veil. It's important to keep offering cups to people. Keep, keep offering water in the midst of the desert. Okay. It's, it's like, um, yeah, keep offering water in the midst of the desert, okay? God damn it, I never let them see you sweat. I'm sorry. I don't know why it says that, but it does. I never let them see you sweat. All right. All right, this is the best part of an interview to me. Please show me your favorite card in the deck and why. There will be a message for you all at the end. Who's your favorite card in the deck and why? I, I, I love this mofo too. Justice. Here's the front of Justice. Get beautiful Isis in the back. Justice. Back of Justice. Okay? And he actually put it on the side. And I keep telling y'all I thought this was so back, but it's not. This card must be talking to me. Why is this your favorite deck? Two cards, please. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so this card um, shows uh, the, pl the plans. The plans of those who are, you know, just plotting to beat you. Just for the greedy, just the lawless. This card shows the plans of the lawless, okay? So I know that now. When I see this, I know it's cueing me. This is the plan of someone who's lawless right now. Okay, and show me your least favorite card in the deck, please. And show me your least favorite card in the deck, baby. Four swords and why and two cards. Why is this your least favorite? Yeah, it's not saying enough. It's just not saying enough. It's the four swords. It's just kind of dead. It's just not saying enough. It's too secret. Too secretive. Too hidden. Um, it takes too long to understand. This, lilies have to do with long time, old time, when you get older. Um, the tree of life is back here too. So add the tree of life to a uh, um, later in life card. It just kind of feels like... Ooh, the bottom of the deck is also the... Uh, tower it just doesn't like the card because it's showing um long time war long time of famine it's just it's unpleasant it's unpleasant and it doesn't say enough okay all right and here's the part you all are probably going to be most excited about can you please give me a special message for my viewers and three cards please I'm going to name this deck Merlin. I've never named a deck Merlin, but I'm going to name this deck Merlin. Merlin, please give the viewers a special message. Three cards, please. See? Look at, look. Oh. Okay, Merlin is the King of Swords, but the Queen of Swords came out. I, I think we're, we're a couple. We're a mate. Perfect. All right. Special message for the viewers. Three cards, please. Will five of swords. It's pentacles. Okay. So life has been spinning out of control for you recently, and it just seems like you're just losing at everything. Just losing for the sake of losing. There's no winning going on. It's just like fate is just throwing a lot of shit at you right now. Okay. Um, and you just can't win. But guess what? There's a coin coming your way. There is something solid coming your way. Uh, some form of relief. Okay? That's the message. And it's coming through quickly. Alright? Let's see what's on the other side. And lovingly. Okay? Or through a lover. Or parent. Or mother. A lover or a mother. Okay? 
all right guys so i hope you enjoyed the quick interview it's kind of longer than some of my other videos but hey hope you enjoy seeing the next one